By an alien Earth, what we mean is um, an Earth-like planet in an Earth-like orbit around a Sun-like star, right? So it's something, in some sense, it's kind of a too narrow a definition, but it's the, it's the one place for sure we know there is life. People are discovering planets by the hundreds every year. Um, and it, it really feels like a, 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 you know, an exciting time to be um, working as an astronomer, to be playing even a small role in this endeavor that's really changing our perspective. This new capability of looking for other Earth-like planets you know, has really come into play just in the last couple of years. And now, just in the last two years, since the launch of NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, um, astronomers have the, the ability for the first time to really search for planets that are just a little, own, you know, not much bigger than our own planet. Now, how many of them are there? We don't know, and that's why Kepler is out there looking so that it can answer exactly that question. How common are other worlds like ours? This is my book, Strange New Worlds, uh, that just came out um, uh, both in Canada and, and around the world. People are quite curious about our place in the universe, and, and in particular, this question of uh, whether we're alone uh, resonates. Um, um, it's, it's a question that human beings have asked probably for thousands of years. Um, and finally, we are at, you know, we've made so much progress just in the last 20 years in at least finding other worlds beyond our solar system. Um, so that seems like a, feels like a big step.